Great cheering songs for the singing, and uh, if you know this one, please join in. Of a springtime, it brings on the shearing. And this then that you'll find us in droves To the West Country stations Swearing, seeking a job for the goals With a ragged old swag on the shoulder And a bleak war part in the hand until you will astonish the new John to see how we travel the line. From Billabong, Murray, and Lawton to the far Tatiara and Bath. I won't Where groves of 
water flourish and later windows grow. Beneath the granite ridges, the eye may just discern where rocky creek emerges from deep green banks of fern, standing tall between.
exposure to youth band is it? <laughs> Actually, I need to be careful. She doesn't like my comedy act at all. <laughs> That's all right. Now, if we've asked Maggie to join us with this. We haven't. I did. Oh, I did actually. have a voice tonight. Got home from work. I still haven't got a voice. I could talk a little bit. And I rang Maggie. To That's another strange voice. I'm next tonight. I just walked in. Six o'clock tonight, I rang Maggie and said, look, I can't let Dominic down. Then, tell him. Then my alarm, security alarm went off. You might hear the whole story later. And <laughs> but that's what the club's like. I knew Dominic wanted to get some of the club members involved, so I knew he wouldn't mind if I dragged someone else in as well. So Maggie's joining us. She's helping me sing. The words All right. And what are we going to do, Marie? Oh, yes. We're doing this thing. <laughs> John Wallace. What John Francis Waller, who's an Irish poet, um, lawyer, lawyer and a poet, from the 1800s. Um, he was born in early 1809, actually. And it's a beautiful ballad. It's called The Spinning Wheel. So you've probably heard it. Or probably. Um, one, you'll have to hear the word chara, which means deer. But you know, you'll recognise the feel of the whole song. It's a beautiful song. It's lovely on the harp, actually. That's why I was asked to play. <laughs> okay. We've had one practice together. <laughs> Just outside before. <laughs>
shoulders above her, the maid steps and leaps to the arms of her lover. Slower and slower and slower the wind swings, lower and lower and lower the river rings. inclusion into that fraternity is my own sweetheart, Betty Marie, and we're going to be hearing a poem of hers in a moment. And for different reasons, uh, we're going to ask uh, the man himself, very indifferent reasons, <laughs> to, uh, to perform this for us. I've been to about 600 poetry readings over so many years, and you hear thousands and thousands of poems, and a lot of poets are full of doubt, and a lot of them are full of themselves. This is one, this is from Betty. She's a lovely poet, lovely lady. She's sitting there next to Greg. If you like the poem, see what the break say. Well done. She's a lovely person, lovely poem. This is hers, not mine. Letter to cousin. Letter to a cousin. Dear Michael, I'm your cousin. You don't know me. Been looking to complete our family tree. Found the tree lopsided, one empty space. Of you, Grandma's cousin, there was no trace. A sprig, one bud, which failed to sprout. So I made the decision to seek you out. Knew the facts at this early stage. Born third child, third child to parents of middle age. Jesse, your sister. Alexander, your brother. Named for your pioneering grandfathers. Michael, the Irishman. Duncan, the Scot. That's all I know. It didn't seem a lot. You travelled for work to New South Wales. It took me a while to find your trail. Saw you in an old album, a photograph of you, taken the year you turned 22. Dark hair, slim build, about five foot five. Light coloured eyes, glazed with energy pride. You pose in your uniform, a soldier's stance, a memento for Jesse sailed to France. You didn't return and many years passed. Now I've found your address at last. I'm coming from home to bid you good day. Far distant cousin, Michael Duncan McRae. You're north of Paris, a spot called Bernafray. It's a British war cemetery where you rest today. Your address, lot one, Row K, Grey 44. One more victim of the war to end wars. <laughs> Thank you. 
We can bloody sure And some who marched and fought with us Will fight and march no more Their blood has brought till judgment day The slopes they stormed so well And we're weeping, weaving, feeling well Lying where they fell Australia's sons are lying there The bravest and the best We will leave these lads behind us now Their days have come to rest We've done our best with yesterday, tomorrow's still our own, and we're leaving, 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 Thank you. 
an IPAC from the 60s. It's, uh, it was written in 1965 by trumpet player Nino Rosso. It's an extension of the Italian cavalry bugle call. In the 60s, it was number one hit in Italy, Germany, Austria and Switzerland. In 1965, it reached the number one position in Australia. It's called Il Silencio. <coughs> Thank you. 